Last year, the world suffered immensely from an array of climate catastrophes. Many people died, and even more lost their homes. Recently, IPCC has issued a final call to save the world through concerted global efforts. Over the past decades, the humanity's hunger for energy has reached new heights. The dominant role played by fossil energy in industrialization has caused rapid growth of CO2 in the atmosphere, putting humanity's existence at risk. While Asia's CO2 emission per capita is modest, its rapid growth and heavy reliance on coal and imported oil pose serious challenges to energy security and the environment. The world needs affordable and green energy solutions right now. In nature, plants capture sunshine, CO2, and water and convert them into glucose, an energy carrier for circulation and storage. Glucose and its derivatives are food and energy sources for plants, animals, and human beings. Inspired by nature, we propose to capture sunshine, CO2, and water and convert them into energy-dense liquid fuels, such as methanol, the simplest aho fuel. These fuels can be stored in barrels to be distributed to the end users. The production of green aho fuels from plentiful sunshine, CO2, and water will help meet our energy needs while maintaining an ecological balance that is critical to sustainability. The distribution of green aho fuels can use existing infrastructures with slight modifications. Through collaboration with the Chinese Academy of Sciences, NUS is developing transformative energy systems needed for mass production of green aho fuels, which include CO2 capture and regeneration, hydrogen production from water, and CO2 hydrogenation to produce green methanol. In the first step, we focus on developing scalable porous materials to be packed into the columns for CO2 capture from power plants or even the atmosphere. After separation, the CO2 molecules will be dissolved from the column for subsequent reactions. In the second step, hydrogen is produced by water splitting through different approaches such as solar powered electrolysis and photoelectrocatalysis with focus on catalysts and electrodes. The hydrogen produced can be used to power different vehicles. The last and the key step is CO2 hydrogenation to methanol. We focus on developing catalysts from Earth's abundant materials to activate hydrogen and CO2, which allow them to work synergistically to produce green methanol under moderate temperature and pressure. While we look into the future to develop green fuels from plentiful sunshine and CO2, deploying near-term solutions such as hybrid alcohol can help build production capability and establish the downstream applications. As green fuels are renewable, they are vital to decouple industrialization from fossil energy and protect the environment. With continued research and development, Singapore can be a green energy hub and a green technology center. We focus on scalable, affordable, and practical energy solutions for Asia and the world. In the longer term, we intend to collaborate with major research institutions and global industrial players to bring our technologies to the market. The CO2 emissions are a global challenge which require a global solution. We can turn the CO2 threat into a golden opportunity. The 21st century and beyond had the potential to be relied on plentiful green fuels, such as green aqua fuels. Let's work together to create the blue sky and the green earth, a future that echoes the collective wisdom from the past centuries. Treat earth well. It's borrowed from our children and our children's children. Thank you.